Heads-up displays, or HUDs as they're more commonly referred to, are display units which allow the user to monitor important information on a display without the distraction of, well, uh, putting his or her head down. Okay, so admittedly the name wasn't inspired by any particularly out-of-the-box thinking, but while the name may suck, HUDs themselves are a revolutionary idea, and although many of you will quickly recognize heads-up displays as the interface showing, you know, how much health and ammo Gordon Freeman has left after clubbing 400 baby head crabs or whatever, really that's just fantasy. And in the same way that truth is often cooler than fiction, the origin of HUD technology is actually derived from jet fighters. Even better. Now, to be clear, they weren't as advanced as what you'll find on your collector's edition master chief helmet that was totally worth the $130 you spent on it, but rather they were based roughly off an old airman's machine gun reflector sight, which illuminated a target in the sight when properly aligned. This technique was eventually adapted by Her Majesty's Royal Air Force in the early 40s and adopted to use cathode ray tubes and phosphorus coated TV screens, you know, like the one your grandma still has, to allow night pilots to monitor targets directly via HUD radar. And then, well, from there on, the SEALs never really stood a chance, did they? Second gen units instead use solid light, such as from LEDs, to project images onto a pilot's windscreen from an LCD display and are commonly found on commercial aircraft, but due to their cost at the time, were unlikely to be found in consumer goods like cars. Third gen HUDs, on the other hand, don't require projection at all anymore, but instead utilize a specially coated viewing surface and a doodad called an optical waveguide, which manipulates visual light spectrum waves, whatever the pants that means, allowing folks like automakers to display readouts like speed, GPS navigation, uh, music controls, or even like web content directly onto their proprietary HUD systems on the windshield. Which finally brings us to fourth gen systems, which use lasers to display high definition images directly onto clear surfaces, like that sweet interface in Minority Report, potentially making them very very compact, portable, and versatile. But heads-up displays aren't just useful when operating a vehicle or solving future crime. In fact, there's an ever-growing list of programs which, in essence, transform a person's smartphone camera into a miniature HUD. And, you know, while yes, technically any display that sits right in front of your face, so you don't have to put your head down, is technically a HUD, most of them are better implemented than that. And that allows people to see information about local hotspots, museum exhibits, or even the plenty of fish profiles of passers-by as they walk down the street. And as this technology continues to develop, be that in the form of laser displays, uh, transparent OLED displays, holographic displays, or even head-mounted displays that have a screen to show you the virtual stuff with cameras mounted to the front for the view of real life, more and more people will be able to enjoy the benefit of access to information without the use of their hands. And assuming all goes according to plan, this will even be possible without having to wear something that makes you look and feel like a total early adopter glass hole. But what if we lived in a world where you didn't have to go out in public at all to get your razors and other bathroom supplies shipped directly to your door for only a few bucks a month? Well, that world is now and here. If you're in Canada, the United States, Australia, or New Zealand with Dollar Shave Club, they've got their razors, their Dr. Carver shave butter, their One Wipe Charlie's peppermint scented butt wipes for men. The peppermint scent is important. I mean, what if, you know, someone was real close to your butt and Right? See? Yeah. They've got their post-shave moisturizer and travel sizes of some of those key things, like the One Wipe Charlies. If you're ever traveling in Asia like I was before, you'll be happy you have some One Wipe Charlies on you. They've got a variety of razors all the way up to the Six Blade Executive, and there's no need for vibrating handles. Which, although that could be useful for... Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, no need for vibrating handles, just high-quality razors and other bathroom supplies right to your door once a month. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to join the club. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, you know what to do. If you disliked, well, you know how to do that, too. I've seen plenty of evidence of that on the internet. Also, if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles, go ahead and uh, leave a comment below. Actually, periodically, we do go through them and look for suggestions. And I think that pretty much wraps it for this one. Don't miss the Channel Super Fun video where we paint my car, though. That is over there, and you are going to want to be over there watching that. Hmm.